Hi. Oh, hold on. The blind is showing behind me. Good. There. Now we're all good. <clears throat> okay, remember I said yesterday that I was going to show you all the Christmas stuff yesterday? I didn't because I fell asleep yesterday. I was I was laying down watching Bob Ross yesterday. I was laying down watching him. Turned out, when I, and then I fall asleep. So we're going to do that. We're going to do it. Okay. okay. Okay, help me, Jaden. I can't say words. We're going to share it all today. <laughs> That's what I meant. All right. First thing, you're going to be the one I got now. It's going to be surprising. Here it is. Bob Ross painting supplies. First one is a Bob Ross palette knife. Second one is a Bob Ross paintbrush. It's a novel brush. Even even it got its, it got its name on it. And the last one. Whatever this brush is, is Bob Ross. Um, I didn't get all of it because Santa was in a hurry on Christmas Eve, so he had to hurry up and get what he can. Okay. Now we're gonna go through them slowly since I since I showed you all these. Let's go through them slowly so we can demonstrate what they are. Okay. I got these for Christmas. Okay. Oh, I'll, even y'all if you want if y'all if y'all want a Bob Ross stuff like that, you can order one off on Ron if you want to. Okay. Okay, let's start off with the palette knife. The palette knife, <clears throat> it has a straight edge on it. And when Bob, when Bobby, I almost said Bobby. When Bob, when Bob Ross uses his palette knife, he mixes his colors with it. After when he, <clears throat> after when he gets done mixing the colors, he um either pull it out flat and then he'll cut across to get that little oil paint. This is what this knife is for, okay? You can use this knife to either build mountains, trees, road, rocks, houses, all kinds of stuff what you can do. You can do a path with this knife. I've watched and done everything, but I still haven't seen the whole seasons. And right there it says Bob Ross, like he usually does right there. Okay guys, that was, oh, one more thing. The only way you can hold it to put um, snow in a mountain is hold it like this, okay? Yeah, I know. Don't worry about my paint right there. But you hold it like this to put snow in a mountain. Also, it's also he says if you use too much pressure on the mountains, if you're putting snow in a mountain, if he says if you're using too much pressure, then he said it looks like an ice to cake. <laughs> Which is, we don't do that, okay? Just no pressure. You just let it graze off the canvas, okay? That's what, it's what it does. Okay, that was the pelt knife we got. Next one is the brush. Now, this oval brush. I just put ta duct tape around it just to copy his, because his is like duct tape too, okay? So I just copy his. Whatever. Okay. He uses this oval brush sometimes. He don't use it all the time. Mostly he uses one inch and two inches. But most time when he uses the oval brush sometimes, he just, it'll make foothills, trees sometimes. Um... Foothills are far away in the distance. He uses all that, all the with the overbrush sometimes. Okay, and once again, he even got his name right there. It says Bob Ross, and that's a pretty cute brush because you know it's so soft. It can turn it whichever the way you want it. It is so soft, and you can also beat the devil out of it when when he goes to wash his brushes, shake off the excess, and then you beat the beat the devil out of it. That's what he does. I'm gonna start doing that one day. Also, you start. You're supposed to wash them in odorless paint thinner, cause turpentine doesn't help. If help, if you use turpentine, it just leaves a residue in your brushes, and that can only be cleaned out with soap and water. If you use soap and water on natural bristle brushes like this, you're gonna find out and get they're gonna get too fuzzy and begin to lose the shape. So, which is, you suggested to wash that with only odorless paint thinner. And do not use turpentine. That's that's what he says during the brushes sometimes, okay? During the season ones when he said that, okay? Okay, that was the brush he got. Very last brush. I have no clue what he uses this brush for. I guess to put highlights on it sometimes. I'm not sure. But um, he does use this sometimes, okay? Oh, it, 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 it says Bob Ross on here. Where is it? Right there. Right there says Bob Ross. Can y'all see? The camera's too blurry. I know. It's my phone that's doing that. So this is a brush he uses sometimes to put um 
highlights on his um, tree sometimes. He uses it for all kinds of things, okay? And other than that, I don't know. But he does watch it. Okay. That was all tutorials of Bob Ross. Hopefully y'all enjoyed of watching me put, uh, showing those. And very cute tutorials. Kinda cute. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna I'm gonna go paint. And hopefully after I get done painting painting. Um, yeah, painting. Then I'll show you the rest of the things I got for Christmas, okay? Thanks for watching. Hey, hopefully we'll see you soon. Okay. It won't pause sometimes. Love y'all. Let's go.